And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at Dogpile, the pup packing puzzle. Yay, they can use multiple letters to make alliterations. Uh, there's 48 puzzles in here. You're gonna use 12 dogs. Have you seen those games where you try to put things in and just fit them all into a grid? That's what this is, but there's a little bit of three-dimensionality to this, as well as dogs. Well, the dogs are just really a theming. Here. So the game comes with these 12 dogs, and you know, look how they're cute, three-dimensional dogs, but they're really two-dimensional dogs, and you can see they're just basically different shapes. And then you get different cards that go from beginner to intermediate to advanced to expert. Interestingly enough, the way this game works is you have the puzzles on both sides of the cards, and then the solutions will come on a separate card, which I found a little bit odd. So let's say, for example, this is number one here. So it says four dogs, one la layer. So it tells me I need this dog, this dog, this dog, and this dog. And I got to fit them in this grid somehow. So maybe I'll try this, this, this. Well, that didn't work very well. Let's try another combo. What? How could, how could I have messed up so badly already? No, but what if I do this, and then this, and then this? Hooray! So now I look at the solution, and whoa, that's almost exactly the same thing. It doesn't really matter. It just shows you a solution. Now this shows you that it's one layer. They're not all like that. For example, here's one that is three layers, which means you can take the dogs and stand them upright like this if you have to. So for example, in this one, so maybe I'll stand this dog upright like this, and I'll stand this dog upright like this. And I'm trying to think the best way. So I'll stick this gray one down like this. So it's a little trickier when you're doing the three dimensional stuff because you got to figure out the right way to fit them in. And then this one all the way just standing up like that. And then this one on top. Ah, I got it. So let's look at the solution to see if I'm correct. Okay, my solution is not the same as their solution, but it is a solution and it does work. So that's how you play. It just tells you how many layers. So here's a big one that uses nine dogs with one layer. Here's one that uses all 12 dogs with two layers. An expert one here that uses 12 dogs with three layers. And that's how you play. All right, so if you don't like the box, which I could imagine, uh, you can put everything into this plastic case. By the way, the, the rules here are a single card. I gotta say, I'm not a fan at all of putting the solutions on different cards than the puzzles. First of all, as you're looking through, it's really easy to accidentally see a solution to something, and it just seems weird that they do that, I don't, anyway. But you can put all the cards in like this, then all the dogs, you don't have to worry about fitting them in exactly. They fit in here just like that. And then I put a lid on this. Boom. Now it's hard plastic, which means it's gonna probably break. You can see there's already a little crack in mine right here. But this is still, I think, better than this box. Of course, the lid pops off fairly easily. But you can also just put this box in here too. Yay! And that's the game. So Dog Power, that's the puzzle. It's a solitaire puzzle. I like it. I don't think it's like fantastic or anything. There's a lot of great puzzle things out here. This one literally doesn't add anything new to the genre. I mean, there's that three-dimensional thing. Uh, there's lots of these games where you have a, a grid and you need to fit things in, right? This one, there's also a 3D level to it. The dogs don't stack as well as I would like them. You saw when that 3D one, they don't stand up as easily. That's partially because they're making them look cool like dogs, and then they fall apart more easily. But still, it's a nice little uh, puzzle that you can play, and as you know someone who likes dogs, this is fun. Kids will enjoy this one. So I can't really say anything bad about it other than that. So a nice fun puzzle, Dog Pile. Dice Tower Judgment, approved. <laughs>